Good afternoon. What an eventful afternoon it has been. Just moments ago, water rescues from right here, the Ventura River, when the water rose with all of the rain we've seen, trapping several people living in an encampment down here. I want to show you some of that dramatic video that happened just moments ago. Uh, emergency officials putting a ladder down and people that had gathered in one small area, uh, climbing up the ladder in rushing water. I want to br bring in Captain Brian McGuire with the Ventura County Fire Department to talk about what we saw here. So what exactly happened? Uh, well, the water rose so quickly and there were some people that decided to stay in their location. And on each side of where they were living, the water got very deep, very fast. And they got trapped in an island down over the middle of the river. Yeah, it was basically an island in the middle of the river, but even on that island, the water started rising and there was just no way to walk out of there. We even saw a man climb a tree to get out. So what did your crews do exactly? Because I did see a boat at one point, and of course there was a ladder lowered down. Okay, yes, there was a, there's multiple ways that we evaluated. We had heard there were crews, victims over here. So we launched a boat on the north side of the river, of the road as well as deployed another team that ended up using a ladder. We use the safest, fastest way possible to get people out. And the boat is definitely more hazardous than, than being able to make a secure ground rescue like we did over there. I want to come back out here live. I don't know if we're in footage or live, but I want to come back here, out here live because there is a helicopter uh, that has just come above us. What is going to happen with that? Well, we have another seven people that we're rescuing on the next bridge down from us, downstream. So they're evaluating anything that's in the water that could be coming floating down to hit the patients or the firefighters, as well as they're searching the area to see if there's anybody else. So there are more people trapped that need saving. Correct. We're making our active rescues right now uh, at the 101 bridge and the river. Okay. We can actually pan over and show those emergency vehicles down that way. So uh, that's basically a block from where we are. Um, the rescues going on here just a short time ago. Now efforts being moved a short distance from here. Who was rescued where we are? How many people were rescued? And was everybody okay? Uh, everybody was uh, okay. We did have somebody that got carted off on one of our chairs, uh, but that was because they were already injured from something previous. They were they were living with crutches. Uh, so we had a total of seven that we rescued from the rip from the island, as well as two others that we brought from underneath the bridge that we were able to convince to come out. What does this show? Because this is just a fast moving situation and something that wasn't an issue suddenly became one. What is the warning here about uh, the weather that we're facing? When we're when you're around these waterways, even if it's not bad where you're at, if it's raining up above you, all it directs all the water into these certain waterways and that's used to move the water out very fast. I want to show the helicopter again if we could. Can you walk us through what those crews are doing right now because they're getting a little bit lower. So those crews in the helicopter, they're evaluating the situation while talking to the personnel on the bridge. They're evaluating if it's going to be safer to make a hoist rescue or to do the same tactic we did over here using a ladder. Uh, they're also going to be using their FLIR, their FLIR which is going to be um, searching for any heat signals for body heat that would be down in the area so we can identify any additional patients or victims. Uh, so the rain was coming down very heavily when the rescues were going on over the last hour. Now we are getting a little break. Does that help with rescue efforts? Uh, it definitely helps with rescue efforts because now we have a good visual of things. We're not, our eyesight's not getting hindered by the rain. Uh, our, we're able to grab things better. Uh, but unfortunately, we do know that this river will continue to rise even though the rain stopped here. And there is a, a, an evacuation order at the Ventura Beach Resort RV Park, yes. I believe it's called. Any issues there? Did everybody leave? Um, there were reports that maybe a few people stayed, uh, but there are areas that usually don't normally flood in that area. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't quite make it that far. It's yeah. just on the other side of this bridge. Mandatory evacuation order there now, correct? correct. Yes. Okay. Any others to speak of? Uh, evacuation orders, I'm not sure. If you are in the Ventura County area, please go to vcemergency.com. Yeah. 
you're going to have street closures and evacuation orders are going to be listed there. And th thank you so much. Thank you, Captain. And the heaviest cells officials were expecting between noon today and six as far as today's rain. So uh, why don't I toss it back to you in the studio? We will cross the street and try to get our eyes on this next rescue that's going to take place. And then we can uh, update you as soon as we have something new to report for now. That's the latest live from Ventura. I'll send it back to you.